the time has come, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to try and do a power rankings to finish out the video. This is not going to be easy, um, to be perfectly honest. I think it's it's unclear. Oh, I see it on the screen. This is beautiful. Um, good stuff, Omar. So here we go. We're going to try and figure out where the team should go. Uh, do we begin at the top? Because to me, FaZe are still the most consistent team. The... What I said in my video earlier today was that if there was an event tomorrow, which is the most likely team to win, it's got to be FaZe, in my opinion. That's the way at least I'm thinking of power rankings. You guys might disagree, but from my perspective, I can't see it being any other team than FaZe. LAG did win, but they came top 12 first major. I think that that doesn't automatically make them number one. I think that Optic came top six, looks somewhat worse. To me, it's still Optic. Uh, to me, it's still FaZe, then Optic then probably LAG. But the question is, do we even put any teams in the S tier? Because Austin made the point before the episode that he doesn't actually think any teams are worthy of S tier right now. So, um, oh, yeah. you know, let's say... Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that there is no S tier teams right now. When you look at somebody and say, like, this team will dominate and win the tournament, like, obviously, a lot of people will say either us or Optic, but, like, in reality, I'm... I'm harder on my team because I know what we can be and what we currently are. Like, obviously, you lose two finals in a row. Like, obviously, you're making the finals. Like, I think we're as close as you can be to an S tier, but we still have a lot of shit to improve on. And I think to be S tier, you have to be elite at all three game modes and be, like, unfuckwithable during, like, like you know what I mean? Like, I thought last year we were an S tier team. No one wanted to play us. No like, doubt. this year, <laughs> like, personally, I think there's an A, B, like, everything down below. I think, like, there's three A teams right now, and then, like, a bunch of midfield teams, honestly. So that's, that's where, like, my two cents are. I actually Should like we, that. We put them in, then? Do we have I'm the, down uh... to go... I think we ignore S. I don't even think we make an A+. plus. I think we just go for A, because it looks better on the screenshot. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> here we go, baby. Stick Paris up there. Let's go. <laughs> you you can put Paris already. <laughs> okay, Paris are up there. Good. We've got that solidified. Um... I think phase A, just behind Paris. Uh, yes. I would put Optic behind phase still. I think that if I'm doing this whole who's most likely to win an event tomorrow thing, which I think is what power ranking should realistically be. Yeah. Um, I think that Optic should still be behind phase. I think that they're, they showed this event, they don't quite have that consistency factor. But I think um, on a on a pure potential standpoint basis and where they have been. I think that Optics still deserve number two. I don't think that Los Angeles Grillers quite deserve to overtake them yet on just one incredible lower bracket run because um, they really haven't showed anything else until this point, but I do think I would still put them third. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, I, I fully agree. I don't want to like overreact with like the Optic losing this past week. Uh, Optic's still an amazing team. They were literally number one in S&D going into this tournament. They were like number two three in hard point and number like one in control so you don't just fall off just because you did one in bad event but they're definitely yeah. there and then gorillas like i have to put them in a as well because i think that's they, fair like, to be honest yeah they yeah. just had an unbelievable run potential to win. elite at they SD, and they already have enough teamwork that teams that have been playing for six months should have so that's that's definitely like the trio i would put at the top right now yeah okay the b i think that they might there might be there might be three teams here. There might just be two. Um I I think maybe I, I probably have to put Boston above London. It pains me to do it, and I'm actually not sure I want to. But I think on placings I might have to I'm not sure I want to give in to that one. But I think I I don't think London can really be fourth. Maybe they can. I don't know. It's Boston or London fourth, fifth, and then it's probably Seattle. Yep. But I don't know if they belong in B. They probably do. Um, I would give them B. Do. I think they I probably think deserve B. Austin at the top of B, and then London, and then Seattle. And that's it. Yeah, that's probably where I'm at right now, too. I think I think Boston, London, and then Seattle. Right I'll give now. you guys that. I can't really fight that. But I still, think, I still think literally Boston and London mm, are yeah, like two peas in a pod. Yeah. yeah, so what are we doing with... The, I think the top five is clear. I think... The question is here about like Florida, because it's funny how I immediately went to Seattle, even though Florida pays better. Uh, I don't know, have I have I underrated Florida still? Like I feel like them going from kind of C to C after coming top four feels unfair, but I also think it's fair. 
I wouldn't hate. <laughs> I wouldn't hate them being in B behind Seattle. I still think Seattle. I, I think Seattle's the scarier team right now. I think they're the better team. They're much more likely to win an event. I think. Yeah, if I had to pick who who would have the if the top if the teams above them all got knocked out, who would win? I would still have Seattle. I think they really got the short end of the stick with the, obviously with the sickness I had. Um, but I still I think clear cut Florida is the next team right behind them. I just don't know whether to put them in B right behind them or C, like obviously a little bit behind them. That's my thing. I don't want to also disrespect them because they did just get a top four finish, you know. Yeah, I think it's tough actually. But if I look at B, I think that every and then again, I mean, if I look at usually when I look at a tier, I try and think, okay, from top to bottom of the tier, do they compete across the tier? And I'm looking at the fact that Boston, you know, game five with Florida. They did beat them in the qualifiers like was, though too. Boston beat them. Boston, yeah. They I mean Florida, but Florida beat London, like it's kind of it's a what it's a weird one. I Let's leave them in B for now, I think. I think we probably have to give them a slight benefit of the doubt, do you think? I think that's safe to say, right? Yeah, I mean, they've, there's got to be a lot of teams in one of these tiers. And I think putting them putting them at a whole tier behind Seattle when they place better and better than London... Or we could do off. this. We could put Seattle and Florida and C... Well, it's got a network error, what's good? Oh, uh, no. No, let's right, keep them in B. I'm back up, let's go. Yeah, yeah. let's, let's keep, keep them it there B. for now. Okay, so we've got, I guess, five more teams to place if we include Paris. Oh, we are. Um, so, what comes next? I mean, it's actually kind of... I want to say New York, I think. Yeah. All right. Uh, is, that, is that where you're going to go with this, London? Or Lion? I, I think New York as well, right? I think so. I think uh, they're more promising. Like, yes, they lost to Thieves, but I still think New York have more potential. Like, yeah, I don't know. Thieves just look lost and woeful at times. They looked really good during the calls, so... I think so. And then probably Toronto right behind them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, mm, I'm, I'm so, uh, it's actually tough. This is tough at this point. Yeah. I think all these teams are C, though. Yeah. No, are it's, it's literally those C? three in C. I don't think they are. It's just weird because I, I almost have more faith in LA than Toronto, even though LA just went 0 and 5. I, it's, it's, it's so weird the lack of faith I have in Toronto. It's just like I just I have no faith when you literally are making your opponent play to one because they just lose every hard point. You're literally just saying if your opponent beats me in two, three, or five, I lose the series. And it's like, damn. yeah, I think Ultra have to be lower than Thieves to be honest. Like it's it's tough to say, but I think it's true. And then it's like, where does Minnesota go? Like Ultra might be eleventh. To be honest, yeah. I mean, right now, yeah, probably actually. Well, I hate that because they, they have one. so much talent that shouldn't ever be the case. That should just never be the case on this team. Like they have a good, a great to- coaching staff. They have a great AR duo and they have a great SMG duo, but there's just no performance. It's so weird, right? So weird. Yeah. And uh, that's the thing. I think that, um, you know, Felipe has a decent point in the chat, right? The 2021 ultra is too vivid in our heads. And I think that maybe the way the reverse sweep did their power rankings for thieves before the major was indicative of that for thieves in the way that like i think to some degree they looked at the players and were like damn there's no way this team can be c or d i think they put them b tier or something um i still don't think that's true I, I think that it should be thieves after new york then i think it's probably minnesota to be honest because at least minnesota can win a game four <laughs> i don't hate <laughs> I that win a game one or a game four i think i would it's- say thieves next time are then I would say, I would do it in this order. You've got it right now. That might be hot take, though. I guess I think they're all C. I think Paris is the only D tier team. Um, I think all these teams are close ish to the same level. It's really weird. Like, I, I feel like I feel like the C, C and B could literally be split up by like C plus, you know? Like, it's like so weird how like congested just those two areas are. You but, could give Florida like a C plus. <laughs> it's like weird because I don't want to put anyone in D because D is a failing grade here. Like that's where I would put Paris right now. But mm-hmm. I don't want to like it's it's very weird how like congested B and C is, and there's literally no way to distinguish between them right now because it's like so like those teams are beating each other, and it's so weird. Like I, I honestly can't wait for Major Three because that's where I think you're going to see some of those teams like take off and some kind of regress back to where they truly should be. You know. 
Yeah, yeah. I think I agree. Are we going to lock him in, Omar? Well, where do we uh, do we have yeah, Minnesota do do? above Toronto? Do you what do you have London or Lion for that? Yeah, what do you think about that line? I don't actually London know. Lines. I know. I don't. I don't know why, bro. I'm <laughs> struggling over here. Standing Ravens. Um, so I yeah, I don't have the stream up, so I can't actually see where we're at. So give me a fleeting. I can screenshot it for you if you want. Go on then. Yeah, I'll screenshot it real quick. I'll chuck it in the chat. Uh, here you go. It's oh looking like that right now. Okay. I think that's 100 percent fair. Like that's you have, perfect. Do you have Toronto behind Minnesota or before Minnesota? Mm, I think their potential as a team is if probably you, higher. If you had to pick, that, go. If you had to pick one to place higher next tournament, who would it be? If we had a tournament tomorrow. Mm. I still kind of want to say ultra. Bracket, that no? too, I right? think it depends on the bracket. I think if they both had the same bracket, I would. I'll First probably, round matchup, they play each other. They play each other? Shit. <laughs> I, I can see Toronto... Oh, Ultra no, did beat them, actually. I Rocco would win that series, but they're both not like convincing me a reason why they should win. I still think Ultra win the head-to-head, -head, but I don't know if that... Because at the same time, like I think Minnesota have had a very tough run lately. Like They've, had, they've played tough teams. Yeah, um, but... but... Rocco, somehow even like ultra is somehow even worse than rocker at hard point and then ultra just lost to paris too game. they like just lost to paris yeah that's pretty embarrassing huh and they just lost to new york at least minnesota lost to optic okay screw it we're going with the initial thoughts we've got right C tier. i think that's how it is minnesota yeah, I think that's ultra. Fair. ultra t11 the only question mark is whether we somehow put mutineers in their own tier but i think that is deserved i think the b is deserved and i think this nicely sums up actually where the league is you know it's so congested man like it's but i think this is accurate frankly because paris are chalked kind of <laughs> i think this is now more accurate but like you know paris aren't going to be winning anything anytime soon but from the a b c tier like there's if an a tier team is not on their game they can lose to anyone below them. And it's the same in that kind of ballpark. And yeah. I think having no S tier team is justified because there's no clear favorite um, yeah. at this point. And yeah, this just, there's no team off, that's playing like an S tier team, to be honest. Yeah, it's going off LAG, though, just the major run. Like, we're not even really thinking about their previous roster, well, previous roster being with Gunless. Um, yeah. But like, if they slip up at all in S and D, they go like five hundred in S and D, then they're straight back into B and C. Yeah, I feel like they would. If now, I don't even want to say that because I think with more practice, they'll get better at their map pool and hardpoint and control. But if their if their S and D does regress a little bit, I feel like the low, like the lowest with with the potential I just saw this week, the lowest I probably could see them is between like Florida and Seattle. You know, I still think they're going to be a top, like a good team no matter what, just because I think with Asum and Austin and 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 uh, Hook, you're gonna have good fundamentals, or you're gonna have a good at least some synergy and hard point and control, so you'll be able to at least stay 500 there. And I think with with Spart, he's bringing this rejuvenated energy for S and D. I think you'll stay you'll stay kind of towards the top of B and A. Do you think though now because of the exposure they've had of winning an event? The amount of VOD that's going to be watched on them might also drop them down because they they came into this major a completely unknown quantity, and teams didn't really know how to counter them. So I feel like with this win, it could also be a detriment to them if they're getting you know spied on a lot. But yeah, I mean that yeah. that goes with the territory. Like I feel like like obviously no team's going to be like this is no disrespect, but no team's going to be watching like the C tier VOD unless they're just elite at one of the maps. The second you start doing really well. Teams are going to be wanting to see how you got to that, what, how you became that that good so quickly, and then obviously you're a threat now to win tournaments. You got you're going to get any strata by all the top teams. So that will be a detriment for like S and D. S and D is really easy to anti strat, but also some of your more common routes and respawns will start getting anti strat. I, I don't know. It's all about ad adaptivity. I don't even know how to say that right, but how how good you adapt in the moment which I do have more promise in this roster to adapt than I do in others. So, like, I, I do think they'll be okay. Um, but, you know, what makes this roster great right now is S&D, and they ha they'll have to put continue putting in work to stay at that level, which is, you know, it's part of the game, give and take. So. 100%.
just what they did this week was the most unlikely thing that's ever happened in COD. So if they think that they can just run it back, that's yeah, it's not going to happen. Let's run it back, baby. <laughs> uh, Paris winning next event for sure.